From the center of the galaxy, this is Force Center, a show about Star Wars, pop culture, and the ultimate adventure life itself, which includes settling debates in a nice, <laughs> friendly fashion. This is Subjective Wars. I'm Ken Hamsack. I'm Joseph Scrimshaw. And I'm Jennifer Landa. And we've got an interesting one here today, because I don't even know how this is going to go. Like, I know how to, you know, get us started, and we're going to all three uh, take us uh, take the show through the show. Uh, but this is a heartstring puller. This is mm -hmm. a tough one. This is tech versus crosshair. And, Joseph, this is your idea. I want to know how, why, and <laughs> how dare you, sir. Yes. Uh, so, well, for one thing, just on a practical level this week, we're going to be uh, late on our Bad Batch report, and I wanted to do something about Bad Batch. I can't go a week without talking about Bad Batch. So I thought, hey, we'll, we'll, how about a Bad Batch topic? And I thought of safe, friendly topics. And then I thought of one, like, let's be artists about this. What hurts? What scares us? What makes it say we shouldn't open that closet door? And mm. it came to this. I, I think for me, wow. it's just like tech was always uh, uh, I, j I was drawn to him. Ken, you were mm. drawn to Wrecker. So we had a lot of fun with that. And Crosshair very quickly became a, a sympathetic antagonist in the story. Yeah. And the fact that this season, not only are we getting to spend time with him, see him grow and change on a real functional level, he has stepped up and filled uh, character wise this this void that was there because of tech so that's mm -hmm. why it came to my mind to actually compare them of like mm -hmm. they're kind of going to be the tech seasons of bad batch and this crosshair season of bad batch potentially i love this and you're describing this as art you know a fun sketch comedy show is art but also a theater where the actors break down on stage it's art it's it's mm -hmm. it's a pretty different uh, you know powerful word for a lot of different <laughs> things and jen uh before we uh, choose sides which this show is about debating and discussing our favorite things and just kind of coming to a subjective sort of perspective agreement. What am I trying to, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm already <laughs> flummoxed. I'm already flummoxed here today. Uh, Jen, we're, how are you just feeling about the art of this, of what we're about to do? I'm already torn. I see myself in both of these characters, uh, which I think is the point, mm. right? We can find our yeah. little bits and pieces in all these characters. So I don't know. I, I, I can be swayed either way, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, and we want to acknowledge, too, uh, 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 Jen, uh, you're having some internet problems today. In an episode about tech, yeah. the guy, uh, it yeah. makes sense that we'd have some tech issues, as if the ghost of tech is trying <laughs> to tell us who to think about. Yes. I don't know what's going on, what you see of me, if I'm pixelated or not. But, uh, yeah. yeah, here we go. Uh, is, to me, it's just yeah. like, you know, it's it's like changing from contacts to glasses and then sometimes needing to take out a uh, contact so I can read something close up these days. You know, it, it, it yeah. might just be my eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 I, I'm like, did I forget the contacts today? And I also want to acknowledge because someone in the comments will say this. Don't you use StreamYard? They have local recordings. Yes. But I'm also on a plane flight pretty much right now to Boston. Mm -hmm. So I don't have time to edit the local recordings today. Uh, all right. Caveats out of the way because we've all lived in the internet age and we're used to comments telling us what's wrong with us. Not just one more caveat. Center, but Ken, yeah. Of, yeah. Uh, yeah. I want to acknowledge that my hair has a little curl today. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't do the gel today. <laughs> And my hair has a little Look, curl. I'm open to change. I'm trying to be open to change. That's it. Okay. I think it's a timeless curl. You, it's not just super bad. It's it's like a a teddy boy from the 50s. You're a street tough. <laughs> Frank Sinatra. Early. I would like to be a street tough. Frank Sinatra. Oh yeah, Frankie. Yeah, Bobby Sox yeah. days. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. One more caveat. <laughs> caveat center. Uh, yeah. I, I was having a discussion with someone else, another channel I work, and they said, well, why did you say that in your script? I said, because I'm used to getting ahead of comments and trying to acknowledge things that people might say. Anyways, mm -hmm. that's another subjective force for another time. Today Oof. is tech versus crosshair, which means we have to put our cards on the table. I have a feeling that the guy who wrote a wonderful, heartfelt tribute to tech here on Force Center, Joseph Scrimshaw, is going to choose tech. But Joseph, I just have to confirm firm for official uh, uh, sake here. I am I am beginning on team uh, tech. I don't want to abandon tech. Uh, mm. But I think part of the reason I was uh, fascinated with this subject is sometimes we uh, we declare a favorite and it's true and it's honest. And then I think we all we can kind of get into this sort of weird space of, I don't know, the, the, the dark side of personal branding of like, well, I told the whole Internet <laughs> yes, <laughs> that yes. I have a favorite. I can't have a new favorite, too. Or like, 
I like tech 100%. So could I only like crosshair up to 99%? Like it's, it's really <laughs> dumb, the traps we make for ourselves. So I think that's part of it for me is like tech is probably always going to be my favorite. If, if I only had money for a tech action figure and a crosshair mm -hmm. action figure, I'd pick up tech first. But I'm just loving crosshair this season. I always appreciated him, and I loved his his episodes, particularly in the second season. Mm -hmm. Some of the most just best, brutal, uh, great, haunting storytelling. But I'm, as Jennifer said, I, I feel like this season, like so many people, I'm starting to see myself in Crosshair, of mm -hmm. the person who is willing to change, is willing to grow, does want to make connection, but feels comfortable staying in a little bit in a place of, of grumpiness, that that those moments where he is in these late ep later episodes where he is connecting with Omega and he is taking huge vulnerable risks. But a part of it is also like, I'm going to be a big F and grump about it. And what makes me comfortable is you Omega or allowing me to be a grump. I mm -hmm. really, really relate to that in Crosshair because I, as much as I try to be positive uh, on four center, there's a lot of me that is a grump. And that's a big part of my relationship often with my wife of just like, uh, can, will you give me the room to just be a, a, a petulant little grump about <laughs> this? And then I'll do what I need to. And she's like, yes, I will. And then that makes me feel comfortable. That part of Crosshair yeah. is so powerful to me. Yeah, I mean, as a grump, I feel it. Uh, as someone who has uh, staked uh, his many internet personalities on things like, thank you for all your tweets about 7-Eleven and Del Taco. I get it. I have other food, though, at points in my life. Uh, at Team Y-Wing, I also like A-Wings, B-Wings, uh, U-Wings, and X-Wings. like all the wings in Star Wars, but I understand it. So, all right, well, well said, explaining your relationship with both, but why you side with tech here, at least at the beginning of the conversation. Jen... I got to tell you, I, 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 it's a toss up for me on where you might go with this. I, I argued for tech on starwars.com. That was the bachelor that I chose. So I feel mm. this trapping of my own brand. Um, because mm. <laughs> now I'm like, I don't know. Looking back is tech annoying to me. Why is tech annoying to me? I empathize more <laughs> with crosshair because we've gotten more of the full picture of crosshair okay. which is mm -hmm. where i am able to see myself in this character whereas before you felt more i don't want to say one dimensional but a little bit more mm -hmm. one one note right now mm -hmm. we understand and I, and i sympathize and empathize with everything he's going through some of the best storylines have been happening with him so maybe that's also my bias mm -hmm. No, that's fascinating. I can't wait to get into uh, uh, the accusations of being annoying in, in, in these characters. It's going to be fascinating. Uh, for 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 my money, I definitely um, really love tech, especially the second season. Man, that mm -hmm. racing episode is one of my favorites, uh, and just uh, his 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 passing, his death. And I'll, I'll still put a question mark on it out of, you know, uh, respect for one sliver of hope we all might have mm -hmm. uh, was one of the greatest, most painful, heart wrenching moments in Star Wars for a reason, because I, I loved him a, a, along with so many other people. But I do start with Crosshair. I think this is a a a battle between tech and kind of coming to terms with who you are and what other people might think of you and whatever that might be and how you act and how you are and and rising, not above it, but just kind of becoming secure. That was part of the journey, the the the, the fee stuff, and just kind of uh, him becoming a little bit more self aware that of, of who he is has great value to this team and great value to society. And on the other side is change and growth, and maybe fighting it. And I've always kind of identified with Crosshair uh, Wrecker, definitely my guy for a lot of reasons, uh, snacks and uh, just his grunting sounds. But with Crosshair, like from the beginning, there's something I was pulled in by about hey. We have a job, we have maybe even an identity, and I do that, and I follow orders, and I do it well. I'm, I'm good, what's wrong with all of you? And, I'm, and, and there's these lessons that come <laughs> out of that, and there's a perspective change that has to happen with those characters, and, and there's some big real world implications of saying that, but even just from a rule following, try to be the nice little Kenny in the back of the classroom that doesn't cause waves, where I'm sometimes like, I, but I'm doing, I'm not jaywalking. I'm not holding up traffic for my needs. I'm following the rules. What's wrong with all of you? That was a kind of a, a starting point for me and just to see how that could be problematic or how that can kind of uh, keep you stubbornly on one side. So I go with Crosshair to start it off. Mm. 
That's very interesting because I was I, I was realizing that uh, I feel like I've talked about my love of tech so much that I kind of blew by what I love about tech mm. to talk about Crosshair. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm now I'm really thinking about um, I, I love tech uh, because he is so clear on who he is, that yeah. it, that there is just a truth that he is a, a, a pragmatic uh, uh, person who mm -hmm. makes lists, solves problems gets the job done. Uh, there's great comedy that comes out of it. I, one of my favorite tech moments is when Omega's really asking him about like, well, what the Clone Wars, what were the Clone Wars? And she really wants to like know the experience. And he gives her like the Wikipedia answer of the Clone Wars were a conflict that happened from this day. Like, and, yeah. and that's great comedy, but it's coming from truth. It's not mean comedy because it's coming from that's, that's who he really is and how he processes the world. Mm. But yeah. hearing you talking about Crosshair and Change, uh, I, here, here's the thing that maybe is making me even more powerful in my in my fight for tech. Mm -hmm. I think tech does change, uh, but I think he does it in in the way of his character of well, I have uh, emotions about it, but I don't really lead with my emotions. But life has changed, mm -hmm. and so I'll make a list of things I need to do to adapt right. to change, and then I will do do them. And it, for a little bit, for me, I think it, it's kind of like what you were saying about Crosshair, but from a different perspective, where tech did what Crosshair is doing. He went through massive change. <laughs> he just did it faster and better. So why should he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why should he be punished for doing something well? You know, like it's like oh, you're okay. saying about crossing the street. I feel like sometimes I've been the person who's like, well, I did I did the homework and I got it done and it was really hard for me, but I did it. But I didn't make as much noise about it. And the yeah. person who got their homework done, but made a big deal about it and whined about it and asked for everybody's help is like, amazing, amazing. Like, but what mm. about the people who just quietly did a good job? <laughs> yeah. I feel like tech yeah. is kind of in terms of personal change and growth. He's he's the bachelor who just quietly did a good job. It doesn't mean it was yeah. any more difficult for him than it was for Crosshair. Yeah. I I, I Look, I'm, I love that. That's a great pitch for tech and the change that tech went through and without a doubt. Uh, he did go through changes, but Jen, let's uh, let's start lobbing, um, um, you know, space grenades at the, you. You use the word annoying. Here's the thing, okay? I'm is this the, my view of all this is about probably as clear as my picture is right now. It's very fuzzy <laughs> because I I as you guys might remember, I kind of binged the the few right. first uh, few seasons, and uh, <laughs> so I don't remember a lot of specifics. What I remember yeah. is the feeling that I got and the feeling mm. that I got from tech was like the person that that is a know it all, which can be very helpful, especially in moments of crises where you do need to you know, tell me how what can I do to solve this problem? Sometimes you just don't want to hear it. Sometimes <laughs> you just want the crosshair who is just like, we need this done. I'm going to do it and just get it done and not talk about it. I'm not going to explain what I'm doing, right? They might be kind of grumpy about it and grunt, right? That's fine. But I don't need you to walk me through every single point <laughs> and then point out to me what I am doing wrong. <laughs> I will say this, though. This is why I see myself in tech. I went to Disneyland, Galaxy's Edge with my family, and guess who I was? I was tech explaining every little thing that we saw. And I was like, I'm really insufferable. <laughs> But this, so that's why I can see myself in tech as annoying as he can be. I, I understand okay. that. He just can't yeah. help himself sometimes. Wow. Joseph, a rebuttal to that. <laughs> uh, I don't think there is a rebuttal. I think it's very, I think it's very true. I think, I think if tech and crosshair were tasked with making episodes of uh, Jedi beat, I think tech would, <laughs> would make uh, detailed and precise choices the way you do, mm. Jennifer, where, Crosshair, even though he's a sniper, would be like, why is this still better than that one? Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Crosshair would just I, get it done. He would get it done fast. He would get it done fast, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. uh, would he get it done better? I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know why this is turning into what are their video production skills. Um, <laughs> Does yeah. Crosshair know Final Cut Pro 10 is the question. I think Crosshair knows what he knows, which is being a sniper yeah. and everything that encompasses really well. Mm -hmm. And I think what was great about Tech's growth in the second season, that racing episode, his epiphany is really, oh, my skill set isn't limited. Mm -hmm. I have a skill set. It doesn't mean I need to be. And I learned it from being a soldier in the Clone Wars. 
Hmm. but it doesn't need i can apply it to racing hmm. it, cause yeah. that, that epi- what's so great about that episode is everybody being like why why do you think you can do this you're gonna die and he's like yeah. no i i know i have the skill set it's there's this there's a confidence and a growth uh hmm. there that i that i really like yeah like I, I, yeah growing into some self-assurance right and, that, and that's a, definitely a growth for me as well as the other growth that he went through uh as he listed him out i love this here um but i do want to just maybe get to some basic kind of comparisons or not even comparisons but things we like about the characters uh you know down to even this is subjective wars we take it to where we want to go as, as you've said before joseph the metrics kind of emerge as the show goes on <laughs> but what about gear what about mm. weapons what about the clone armor of it all where, where do you go jen with uh tech versus crosshair even on the surface level do i want inspector gadget or do i want wow. like you know, uh, uh, I don't know what movie character that would be a sniper. I, uh, who would Barry I trust Pepper's more with my life? <laughs> Barry Pepper, right. Who would I trust more with my life? I don't know. Mm. But I will say this about Tech. Um. I feel like he reads people better. He has mm-hmm. a better understanding totally. about how people are feeling. Uh, I feel like Crosshair is just kind of now <laughs> starting to figure that out right? He's starting mm-hmm. to get more in touch with his emotions and how his behavior is affecting other people and actually caring about that. So mm-hmm. in that sense, I would trust tech more with my life for the gadgets and also his care. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's a great answer. Just first of all, Crosshair had to kind of learn that too. There was probably a couple right. points in time where Crosshair would leave you to die. He learned that's not yeah. a good thing. <laughs> <Right>. tech, <laughs> tech was already there. Tech was already yeah. there. I, I love Crosshair as a character, partially because mm-hmm. we're watching him overcome his flaws, and, mm-hmm. and I relate to, to many of those flaws. But now I'm thinking, like, if I didn't have a close personal relationship with Crosshair, he'd let me go. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I mean, he, yeah. he'll do anything for Omega in his in his uh, his brothers now. And if his brothers say, you got to protect Pabu, he'll probably do everything he can to protect Pabu. But, like a part of his big change in that outpost episode was he connected with that other clone and then Mm -hmm. did everything. I feel like if tech was told the assignment is save this scrimshaw guy, tech would do (laughs) anything because he put it on his list of to do's save that scrimshaw Mm -hmm. guy. And now Mm -hmm. he's going to do absolutely anything he needs to. And crosser would be like, I don't know. I've never met him. Do I like (laughs) him? (laughs) (laughs) Right. Yeah. So I, I would figure be, that out. Yeah. I would be afraid that like I really need to bond with Crosshair before he'd save me. Uh, but that it's a it, yeah. it's a great saving question. What's your answer, Ken? Who who would you want to be sent on a mission to rescue you? I I think it I, I think it would be Tech. I think Crosshair brings a certain set of skills, a particular set of skills, like he's Liam Neeson. But I I think he's got skills <laughs> that I think might I have a little more faith in just in terms of the sharpshooter. I'm thinking of the episode where he shot the mirrors up the stairs and that was just done right cool but also like that would probably help me and he's ruthless enough that i would trust that if there was a take the shot moment that would save me he'd do it but i also really it's hard to separate the emotions of the character or i i i definitely feel tech uh would would be there just as well uh just with with his own set of skills but also that he would um, have a list of what to do, like you keep saying, Joseph, but but know how to do it, know who to bring in to do it. Where Crosshair might be like, I got it. And that, you could fail, right? Like, as much as I love Crosshair, I think I'd rather have Tech coming after me. And also, as we saw, the tragedy of Tech was you are in front of me. Like, I will sacrifice myself for the good of you. I don't know if Crosshair does that. Despite training, despite the rules saying, hey, you know, code 99, all that stuff, he might follow them just on the rules. But there might be a little bit of like, well, them's the breaks. I'm alive. You're not. Whereas tech <laughs> is like, no, I got to do this to save you. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you asked a great aesthetic question there, too. And we we, ended, mm-hmm. we talked about saving. The aesthetic question is fascinating to me because Crosshair is coded as much as you know the bad batch have evolved but they did sort of start as this very 80s 90s you know a a team an action figure each with their own shtick and Mm -hmm. crosshair is coded as the cool one like if the yeah if the bad batch was like you know a john hughes movie (laughs) yes he's he is the cool one with the like 
oh yeah, I got a tattoo of a of a crosshair over my eye, and I chew on a toothpick, and I'm lean, and I got a deep voice, <laughs> and then text over here with like, I have a data pad, <laughs> and my goggles are practical; they are not aesthetic. Like Anthony he's Michael. totally, he's yeah. totally the nerd, right? He is yeah, absolutely yeah. the like. Uh, mm -hmm. he, he, I think I made this joke in in my video about tech of like he he, he had if pens existed in Star Wars he would have a pocket protector, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. Yes. So I think I even though Crosshair do, does look cooler, I mm -hmm. kind of got to go for the comedy vote of aesthetically. <laughs> It's it's my my nerd buddy tech. Yeah, he is the uh, Livingston Dell of this Star Wars Ocean's <laughs> Eleven, and I love Livingston. So yeah. Um, but what what does that mean? Where do you go aesthetically, Jennifer? With uh, I like the crafty aspect of uh, tech in that he's he's ready for anything, right? He's just mm -hmm. more versatile, and and he literally wears that on his on his sleeve he, his mm -hmm, craftiness mm -hmm. his macgyverness uh, is what i'll say and i i like that i respect that and he just owns it i feel like mm. crosshair is a little bit too cool to clint eastwood for my taste aesthetically mm -hmm. mm. i mean I, i'm a sucker for the toothpick uh <laughs> i don't I, i've definitely liked that and 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 the fact that we have toothpicks of any kind in star wars is, i was fascinated by that not not that i was surprised or that it wouldn't work out but i just it, and it was but there's some, you're right joseph of all the characters well hunter the the rambo vibes and the the, the tracker everything about him is action figure for the 80s mm -hmm. crosshair's right there yeah. on that for me as well but i think if i'm in this unit, I would more likely dress like tech. There's something I like about the goggles. I have contacts and glasses, but even beyond that, there's something, <laughs> you know, I like I like biker scouts. I like the masks. Yeah. I like, there's some about yeah. that I like, but I would aspire to be crosshair, but I know I could never do that. You know, it's like when you put on like a fedora or something, you're like, I got this. And you see a picture, you're like, I do not got this. <laughs> do not got this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ugh. I so loved uh, like movies from the '40s and and Raymond Chandler and that. My brother and I both got fedoras when I was about twelve, and he was fifteen. Mm -hmm. Long before they had become sort of coded as MRA men's rights stuff. And like, <laughs> yeah. I had like Ocean Sports shorts, and it was, like it was July, and I was walking around with a fedora, and like everybody's looking at me. My fedora must look pretty cool. Like that's <laughs> that's not why people are looking at you. So I feel your pain. I tried to dress like Crosshair when I was thirteen, or didn't work out. So I think. Yeah. The fact that tech the tech looks cool, he's got a cool helmet, and then you realize mm -hmm. like big old stereotypical circular nerd glasses are in the center of this helmet, and yet he still looks cool. Like mm -hmm. way to go, tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chep, uh, tech is a champion for the classic '80s nerds, which I was part of in in, in my own way. Mm -hmm. I didn't have that look on, but like you know, we were all sci-fi kids. Uh, we were all Star Wars kids. We we might have got bullied or or teased at at, at best, uh, you know, bullied at worst. Um, so I think tech's a little bit of a champion for that. I I think personally, yeah, I connect to mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we might be coming towards the end of the decision, but I don't think we're anywhere close. Uh, Jen, you, you came in, uh, where temperature check, where are you at now? Who's, who's leading in the clubhouse for you? I take back what I said. I, I'm team tech. I'm team tech. You're, you're, because wait, you, you ditched out on crosshair, like crosshair would have ditched out on himself in season I one did. or two. I did. Oh, I laying that, that Jen to rest. Oh, wow. Um, because the thing about crosshair is that I cannot see myself. It is a he is epitome of cool. And you either got that level of cool or you don't. You can't put it on. And there are some people who are mm. naturally just really cool. That's not me. I'm more, mm. I, I feel like tech mm. would wear new balances. I live in my new balances. He is practical. <laughs> He's excited <laughs> about learning things and sharing what he knows, uh, just like I apparently do. So mm. I'm team tech. I mean, that's pretty cool, too. I know Tech's excited about, you know, look, I bought cheese sticks that are now cheaper than this cheese stick package over here. That's exciting. Yes. Celebrate that. He would find the joy and celebrate the little things, exactly. And yeah. one of us oh. just went to Trader Joe's and got cheese sticks. I don't know who. Um, <laughs> Joseph, where do you go? 
Yeah, I, I, I love Crosshair as a character, and, and it is uh, fascinating as metrics uh, develop. I think Crosshair is a, is a fabulous character. It breaks my heart that we can't see yet uh, tech interact with this Crosshair who is beginning mm. to change and grow. Another, you know, glorious tech moment for me that a lot of people have celebrated uh, is in that episode, The Crossing, where they're stranded and and uh, Omega is upset because she's not perceiving that that the rest of the group is upset about mm -hmm. Echo leaving. And uh, Hunter and Wrecker obviously are. They're just kind of burying their emotions and tech expresses to her like, I am upset. I'm just processing it differently. And, you know, mm -hmm. I don't like change, but... I recognize it's a fact. Um, it, it, it's such a great uh, tech moment um, that I wish that that tech who was really thinking about the nature of change could spend quality time with this crosshair who's going through change. And how mm -hmm. would these two awesome characters and brothers bond yeah. over how difficult change is and the different ways it's come to them? Um, so I think as, it, as characters, if the metrics of my decision was uh, which character is cooler i'd like i'm stalemate they're both cool they're both great characters right, right. and i but i think when it comes down to it the metric that is rising as we talk is uh who do i personally relate to yeah and everything we're talking about of like i could stand around with a toothpick i could maybe <laughs> i could pull it off if i was acting <laughs> for a for a show uh mm -hmm. i i i could not pull off that crosshair level of cool in interactions with friends and they'd just be like what are you doing uh, <laughs> what's with that fedora why are you wearing a fedora why did a weird tattoo on your face what's that about um if, if i showed up wearing goggles people would be like cool oh, great if i showed up with crosshair's tattoo they'd be like are you okay <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah i just i relate to tech uh too much um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah the, the the primary example I made in that tech video is uh, I I want to send people detailed e emails with everything I need to ask them in one email broken into seven questions. And mm -hmm. almost always I get an answer back to the first question and nothing else. And I have had to accept the change that that's not the way people want to email. Mm -hmm. Tech would answer every one of my email questions. And mm. I, uh, yeah. He absolutely yeah. would. Uh, Jen, uh, you, you kind of already declared your intentions, but I'm sensing we could push you either direction. So I, I, I will go with this. As I, I, I start a crosshair. I'll stay with crosshair because of how I connect to them. And there's a lot of things about tech, tech I connect to, but I think there is um, – a path that Crosshair is on that I think will stand the test of time is, is perhaps the best in the show. That's just my personal opinion because I'm connected to it because of where he began, because of I have an understanding where he started. It's easy to look at the Star Wars story and go, no, you're fighting for the Empire. You're fighting for a Sith Lord. You're fighting for that. But he doesn't know that. He's just going through the change. And he's all of them are, but he's going through in a way that I just think will be analyzed. And you can look at the path to redemption broken down bit by bit, broken down in, in a stark uh, uh, reality kind of uh, this is how progress happens in, inside people. It's not a, a eureka moment all the time. It's sometimes uh, these personal connections or these understandings of what's actually happening to you or what you're actually a part of. And, there, and it can be slow and it can be frustrating. And Crosshair does have a lot of patience, uh, but that's, uh, you know, not how I want the patience applied. But I think I just continue to, to take so much from him and his episodes, um, the, the ones from last season in particular, just just I think will be remembered uh, in, a, in a show that will is being celebrated and will be celebrated. Tech's moment might be the most painful moment. Mm -hmm. It's up there with some of the best, uh, you know, bittersweet deaths, you know, in, in all pop culture, right? Whether in Game of Thrones or another show where just someone's death hurt hurt so much it almost felt good because you almost want to just feel, am I alive with mm -hmm. this pain? But I, I'll stand by Tech or stand by Crosshair. I love Tech, but stand by Crosshair um, as, as just having um, value. Uh, they all they all have value, but you know what I mean. It, it's a personal mm. connection. So Jen, I don't know if I've made any claims. I don't know. It's just no. where you're at. but you've got no. to decide. Tech I... versus crosshair. Where do you go? Okay, who so you, I... who do you want your kids looking up to? Well, that I mean, <laughs> that, that makes it easier. But what I will say is that the crosshair, the crosshair episodes for me lately have been the most memorable. The the mm -hmm. ones that made such an impact, where I was like, this show 
is not just for kids. This is some of the best Star Wars storytelling. That's where I really get conflicted. Mm. However, I will say that every, almost every episode, Tech is mentioned. He has left uh, a void. He was such a valuable member of, of the team. He was a planner. He was a type A, right? You need one of those people, one of those clones in the group. It's it's crucial. And even, even him, with him being gone, his plans have, have come and saved the day. So for that alone, because of his value to the group, I'm going to say tech. Mm. You headed right towards something I almost brought up. And I didn't want to <laughs> I didn't want to say, hey, who's the most valuable player of the team? Ooh. But when when Crosshair was gone, yeah, they kind of kept going in their own way. They missed him. Right. Omega was hurt, but they they right. they found a new way forward. With Tech gone, you're right. Not only do they miss him as they should, but there is a void. You feel it. Wow. You feel it. I don't know if that's a the metric to end on Joseph, but it's kind of uh, it's palpable when you watch. It's it. palpable. It's palpable. And I, well, maybe maybe the beat to end on is even though we have uh, forced ourselves into this this cruel decision <laughs> between these two, uh, I think they would choose each other. Uh, it is mm. it is Tech who said mm. Crosshair sent out a message warning us that Omega is in trouble. We mm -hmm. can't let him rot. We mm -hmm. we, we got to fight for him. And I think Crosshair, where he's at now, if he if he found out there was hope for Tech, he he mm. would not uh, flinch or wait. He would go. Mm. I agree with that. So in a in a way, we're going push, but really, Tech wins by voting here today. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, tech wins. Technically. <laughs> and but tech in spirit, everyone wins. Yeah. <laughs> I received two votes uh, versus one. So therefore, I am the winner today. <laughs> um, but I like that. But you know what? I think we should leave it open ended because uh, you know where to find us. We'll run through the list. But I think you all need to uh, post on social media your answer. I think you need mm -hmm. to go to our Discord and, and post the answer. Uh, or here, if you're watching on YouTube. Comment down below. This is not a, a debate show where there is a true winner or loser. Mm -hmm. It's just subjectively, here we think, who might be the better of the two options here today? Uh, and I don't know. I'm still Crosshair out of respect for the journey of Crosshair. But yeah, Tech is the MVP. Tech is the heart and soul. You can kind of feel that. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait for more Crosshair stories to unfold. Well, mm -hmm. there you go. This is what we do on, sub on Subjective Wars. We come to answers. Definitive, definite answers. We answer everything here. We've decided it. We've decided it. Uh, you can uh, join the conversations, like I said, on uh, Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Threads, Instagram, <laughs> Force Center Pod. We're on Facebook at Force Center Podcast. Uh, don't forget, we're here on YouTube. Subscribe if you would like. We're also on Patreon and uh, patreon.com slash Force Center. From there, you get into our Discord where you can have a nice, wonderful, warm debate about tech versus crosshair in our subjective wars thread we are available as a podcast and a lot of spots just search you'll find us and merch available at tpublic.com slash four center go to my website catnapsock.com for information of all the things i do including comedy shows i am boarding a plane for boston by the time you're watching this i will probably be in the air heading to boston with mark ellis to do comedy shows on uh, wednesday night at laugh boston and saturday night at the rockwell ticket information on my website jen where can they find and follow you you can find me on Instagram, YouTube at Jennifer Landa and TikTok at Jennifer Landa 1138. Joseph, I'm going to put a link to the tech video here mm. because it's uh, uh, one of our finest pieces of, uh, well, I won't say that uh, one word, but our one, <laughs> one of our finest videos. <laughs> tech would be uh, upset of that. Um, the C word, content. The C word. No, uh, but where fine. can they find uh, the rest of your work? Uh, you can find the uh, the content of my soul on social media. Uh, at Joseph Scrimshaw is my handle uh, everywhere. Uh, what are all the Blue Sky, Mastodon, Instagram, Fluberbert, uh, whatever. Uh, find me on the uh, check out the places on social media.